Whoa, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, I have no idea what is this actually. Hey, what's going on guys? Coming in the year or last video during unboxing the package from my friend Dominic Bambek. I was a bit confused by seeing this device basically in the package because uh, we didn't really talk about it and this was a complete surprise to me that this actually was included. Um, and when I realized what is this actually, I got extremely amazed by, by the amount of options that this standalone device actually can do. So, uh, first of all, we need to know what is this initially, what was this initially? So, it was a popular classroom device that allowed teachers to set up lessons, quizzes, whatever, into a program, and then the students would use these devices to interact with, this, uh, with the curriculum. Uh, and so, 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 but one of the most benefits of it is it's, it comes with an Arduino processor, which means that, uh, well, first of all, the good news is it has the EEPROM. Uh, it has uh, 128K of RAM. Uh, it actually split it into chunks, but anyway. And it also does support uh, uh, external memory chip, which I'm not sure is probably just not included in the basic model but anyway so the idea is that uh, initially it wasn't intended to run basic on it but this guy uh, Ben Geiger actually did manage to reprogram it and uh, he provided the source code so here's uh, here's how you can build uh, a, a custom programmer uh, to program this Arduino processor and then eventually so here it has a fantastic video of demonstrating like how this works. I'm going to be doing something similar today. So yeah, uh, eventually we have a, sort of a retro basic computer. Uh, there is a source code on GitHub somewhere. Was was somewhere? I'm not sure where exactly. Should be. Uh, yeah. So it's based on Tiny Basic Plus by. Uh, well, I'm not sure who has written that. Uh, yeah, and someone actually even uh, has been written the Arduino library for for this device quite surprisingly. Okay, yeah. So here we here we have the list of commands. Yeah, here is Arduino Co repository. All right, and you can even buy it, uh, believe it or not, here on Tinsy Store. Well, uh, I'm not sure uh, if Dominic actually bought this or actually did program it by himself I'm not sure so I need to ask him but no matter what was uh, what was the option basically it's it's really cool how it, how it actually works so it only needs uh, it only needs uh, four batteries AAA batteries in order to run okay so now let's try to plug in the batteries and see if it works basically All right so so since this uh, a device that has been used for students mainly it was done the way so it's really hard to do whatever to it so yeah in order to plug the batteries you really need to have a screwdriver and it actually should be turned on automatically so now it's turned off you see and actually should be turned on automatically already and I believe these are the exact batteries the package has been arrested because of. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of forbidden to to, to kind of send uh, airplanes, for instance. So yeah. And yeah, so this is basic for running. Okay, probably now it's seeing good enough. So we have 12k of memory being free and 4k in EEPROM. So, if I now type mem, this is one of the commands, so mem, and it uses the delete button here, delete button instead of enter, which is quite the right place for button to, for, for, for enter button, and if you want to erase, you need to use this one, so here, and we have all the 12k memories are being free, and there is something, uh, there is something on EEPROM, so you see like, uh, yeah, so there is something on EEPROM. And if we want to have a look what is actually there on EEPROM, uh, we can say simply eload, so that's another command to load from EEPROM. 
E load and hit enter. And uh, okay, so now to list the program, I just say list and here we go. Okay, so for some reason, for some reason it seems like nothing there really. Okay, so maybe just some garbage. Well, I'm not sure what, what, what should be there. Yeah, if, if nothing there, then yeah, it's just empty. So yeah, for some reason the, the memory uh, sounds like just a few bytes has been taken. But anyway, right, so uh, I'll probably be making some separate tutorials on uh, what I've coded on this device so far. But for now, uh, for now I can actually say, like, let's try to write a program of some sort. Okay, so can I say, okay, zero, 01, zero, space, uh, sprint, Uh, so where are the quotes here? Okay. So delete. Okay. Hello. And enter. Okay. So now, for instance. Probably too much. Sprint. Okay. It doesn't have a cursor, but it's okay. Print. Let's try some expression. So two, for instance. Uh, plus. I'm just watching this in the camera, not on the actual device, and it's not really seen that nicely. That's the reason. Okay, and enter. Okay, so now let's try to list. Okay. Yeah, we got our program, fantastic. And now let's try and run. Excuse me. Run. And. Yeah, hello, and it evaluates the expression, which is fantastic. So now I believe uh, if I say e save, it's going to save the program to the EEPROM. So e save, and right. So it's okay. Now I want to turn it off, so I say bye. That's the command to turn it off. And enter. So now it's off. Now, here is the button to bring it back to life. Okay, so now it's back to life. And uh, I'm wondering if I say list. Well, it still might have uh, it still might have the program there because it's, it was kind of slipping. But no, no, it didn't. Actually, it has been erased. So if I now say eload, eload, and hit enter. Okay, list, not sure, okay, here is my program, fantastic, whoa, this is so nice, so if I can run it, then yeah, run, and here we go, here we go, so the same output, so this is nice, okay, and now, uh, well, I'm not sure whether it works out of the box or not, uh, but we can so in the documentation it says that we can save save up to ten chunks of twelve k data using the m save command. I'm not sure whether that actually kind of works or not. Maybe that needs some extension. Or, I have no idea. So let's say m save m save zero for instance like this and enter. Okay, so. Probably it works. Okay, then let's type new and list and 
Okay, so nothing here. And if I now say m load, m load zero, and now trying to list, this is gonna be working. I would have been so happy. Oh my god, it does work. So it really has those chunks of 12, uh, 12 by uh, 12 k bytes memory locations. Oh my god, this this opens so so huge opportunities to me. Uh, in regards to writing so work for this tiny little thing. So yeah, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, I need to work around uh, the way how to put a camera to shoot it uh, a bit more nicely so you can see actually what, what happens uh, in a bit more convenient way. But yeah, uh, generally this device is, is absolutely fantastic. So hopefully new videos on programming it are coming soon. So this is it from my side. Thanks for watching until next time and take care.